Welcome to this tutorial. In this tutorial, I will show you how you can access Quality Center. There are two ways you can access Quality Center by using a desktop client or you can use the web client. Most of the times you will end up with using web client. You can access the web client by using any web browser. The beauty of Using the web client is you can access it from anywhere in the world as long as you have the access to the network where quality center is installed and you have access to a web browser. In this tutorial, I'm going to use Internet Explorer to access quality center. When you are going to work for any company as a quality assurance analyst or a test analyst, the company is going to provide you with the URL of the quality center and your quality center login credential. You will not be responsible for installing the quality center unless you are a quality center system administrator. Installing quality center is a complex job and it's out of scope of this course. In future, we will have courses on quality center installation and administration. Now, let me show you how you can access quality center by using Internet Explorer. Here I am opening the Internet Explorer. So the URL I was talking about, let me uh, give you um, some more information about this uh, URL. I already have this URL here, saved here. Um, so you can um, have it uh, uh, in somewhere else. So you can copy it here. Or you can just type it in here in the address bar so um, in this URL uh, as you can see um, there, there there is it is at localhost colon 8080 which is basically the server address so for you uh, it will probably not the same uh, like mine I have it here so um, you may have different uh, address but um, the other part, uh, which is slash QC bean slash stat uh, underscore a dot JSP, this part will be the same for you. So most of the times you will access it from a client operating system like Windows 7 or Windows 8. Um, before uh, I log in, let me focus on uh, this domain and this project, uh, these two um, options that you have here. Um, under one domain, uh, there will be multiple projects available, but you will only have the access to the projects, the, the ones you are going to work for. Um, as I said, uh, they're going to provide you with a uh, login, your login credential. Um, I already created a test uh, under user this account. Uh, so let me log in uh, with using this uh, user. So after type your password, uh, click uh, authenticate. Now you can see these two options was grayed out earlier. Now uh, these are available. Uh, so this test user uh, has access to two projects. Uh, one is demo, another one is test underscore project. So this demo project contains the information uh, from uh, HP, uh, which is available for learning purpose. Uh, and this test underscore project, uh, I created this empty project uh, for your better understanding. So first I will log into this test underscore project, uh, this uh, project. So when you click login, so now you are in test project uh, under this default domain. Um, so this is uh, uh, how it looks when you first time log in into the quality center. So I'm not going details in different options uh, available here. Uh, this is going to be covered in the uh, next tutorials. So, uh, but I want to show you, um, there's an option from here. You can switch to another project that you have access. Uh, here you can see uh, this demo project is uh, listed here, default under uh, slash uh, demo. Uh, so if you click this, um, which will, will bring you to that, um, to the demo project so you can see uh, this is domain default and the project is demo and um, this is the demo project so um, now the, so this way you can switch between different projects that you have access uh, 
Um, now we can click uh, log out. So this will uh, bring you back to this space. So um, before I end, I want to show you one more option that uh, you can see there is a small checkbox here. So if you, uh, which says automatically log in to my last uh, domain and project on this machine. So if you check this box and uh, type your password and click uh, authenticate. So this will, will directly take you to the last project you was working on. So we are the last working on the demo project and now as you can see you are in the demo project. So this way you can directly come to the project that uh, you was uh, working last time. So with this uh, we come to the end uh, of this tutorial. Um, thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed this tutorial.